One of the most important tools used when installing a hydro flow device is an oscilloscope. An oscilloscope is a tool that allows you to see the wave formation of the hydropath signal. It also measures the voltage present in the system, which will tell you if the device is working properly. Here at HydroFlow USA we use the Owen scope, and this video will show you how to configure it properly. Plug the scope into an electrical outlet or ensure the battery is charged. Always plug it in if an outlet is available. First thing we need to do is install the probe. After it's been installed, check the probe switch setting. The probe switch should be set to X10 for the higher voltage I range devices. For all other devices, use the X1 setting. To turn the Owen scope on you simply need to press the power button. Once it's done booting up, press any key to get past the title screen. When you first boot up the Owen scope it may start off in multimeter mode, press DMM, OSC to change it to oscilloscope mode. Press the option button until lower left corner of white area shows, time base. Press the menu button, then scroll with up and down arrows above and below the menu button until me set 1 is selected. If 1 fifth is not showing in the F5 window, toggle the F5 button until 1 fifth is showing. Press the F4 button to choose PKPK, peak to peak. Press the menu button, then scroll until ACQU mode is selected. Press the F2 button until it is set to peak detect. Press the menu button, then scroll until CH setup is selected. Press the F1 button until coupling is set to AC. Press the F2 button until channel is set to on. Press the F3 button until probe is set to match the probe switch setting. Press the F4 button until inverted is set to off. Press the menu button, then scroll until trig mode is selected. Press the F1 button until type is set to video. Press the menu button, then scroll until disp set is selected. Press the F1 button until type is set to vectors. Press the F2 button until persist is set to off. Press the F3 button until carry is set to vectors. Press the F4 button until simometer is set to on. Press the menu button, then scroll until Kurs Mies is selected. Press the F1 button until type is set to off. Press the menu button, then scroll until auto scale is selected. Press the F1 button until auto scale is set to off. Now that you have your Owen scope set up and ready to use, let's do a quick check by attaching the probe lead around the ferrites of a powered up hydro flow unit. To zero in on the hydropath signal you will need to press the up and down arrows of the channel setting button until 10V shows up in the bottom left red box. Next you will need to press the left and right arrows of the option button until M20 microseconds shows up in the bottom purple box. The last step is to hit the run stop button to freeze the image. As you can see we have captured the hydropath signal and it looks great. Congratulations your Owen scope is set up and ready to use.